Yeah, so it is it is classically a rare disease in that sense, and that patients um, have a pretty you know protracted uh, diagnostic journey, um, and they are often misdiagnosed uh, with with various other you know conditions before you know being formally diagnosed you know with, with FA. Um, this typically happens in childhood, and this is associated with you know the gait abnormalities, and there's a, or, or early on a bit of clumsiness, and you know they're um, you know, physicians don't, you know, readily recognize that this is uh, the disease, you know, FA that's progressing. So it's a very classic rare disease in that, in that sense. Um, the, you mentioned the two types, actually, the neurologic and cardiac disease typically occurs within the same patient. So it's a function of where, it's a function of progression. Um, and the reason that, you know, the neurologic and cardiac symptoms are, you know, the most prominent are basically it's the, the type of disease, it's a mitochondrial disease. It impacts um, energy production in the mitochondria and the heart and the brain are the two organs that require the most energy. And so those are the two that are most impacted by, you know, by the disease. Um, so early on, you'll see, you know, the, the neurologic disease progressing, and this is, you know, both central nervous system and peripheral nervous system as well. Um, then typically at adulthood in the same patient, you'll, you'll begin to see the cardiac disease. Um, so it's just a, um, a time course, the, the point in time. And this may be different by patient. So there's a different uh, speed of progression and severity, but typically it's neurologic disease followed by the cardiac disease.